Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to take a look at how we go about preparing your Server 2016 target for promotion to a domain controller up inside of your ethical hacking course. Prior to promoting any Windows Server to a domain controller, it must first be configured statically with an IP address. This is a requirement. If the machine is not configured statically with an IP address during the DC promo process to promoting that machine to a domain controller, you will receive the following warning. And so to ensure that we have no issues with promoting our server 2016 to a domain controller, we're going to perform the following six steps. Step number one, we will ensure all VirtualBox network adapters are configured correctly. Step number two, we will discover the IP address assigned to our Server 2016 target. Number three, we will disable the firewall on our Server 2016 target to allow ICMP packets to be returned from the target to our Kali machine. Number four, we will ping the 2016 target from our Kali machine. Number five, we will use the DHCP assigned IP address to statically configure our Server 2016 target for our ethical hacking course. And finally, we will go back to our Kali machine and we will ping the 2016 target one more time to ensure that we have the correct connectivity for the lab. Now the standard for this course is to have the network adapters configured for NAT network, but they can also be configured for host networking. Let's see how that works. So up on my Kali machine, I'm going to go to devices, I'm going to go to network, I'm going to go to network settings. You'll see that the network adapter for my Kali machine is currently configured for NAT network. That means that any target that I want to attack in this lab must also be configured for NAT network and that includes my server 2016 server. This is my 2016 server target. If I go up to devices and I go to network and I go to network settings, I can confirm that the adapter for this machine is configured for NAT network. Prior to promoting any Microsoft server to a domain controller requires that that machine be first statically configured with an IP address for that network. If the Windows server is not configured with a static IP address when you attempt to promote it to a domain controller, you will receive the following error. There's no need to configure this machine for DHCP, but if you're going to configure it to be a domain controller, the rules still apply. It must have a static IP address. So the next step is to identify the IP address that has been assigned to this server via the DHCP server up inside of VirtualBox. Now to do this, I'm just going to go down here to my search bar and I'm going to type in CMD. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. It's going to bring up the command prompt. At the prompt, I'm going to type in IP config, just like that. Hit enter, and you can see that this machine has been assigned an IP address of 10.0.2.28. It's also using a Class C subnet mask. Let's go ahead and minimize our command prompt. Back down here at our Start menu, let's go click on the Start menu, and let's go into the Control Panel. Once we're up inside of the Control Panel, go to System and Security. From here, you're just going to click on the Windows Firewall. From here, over on the left, you're going to find where it says Turn Windows Firewall on or off. Go ahead and highlight that. And now you're going to select the radio button to turn off Windows Firewall on both the private and the public networks. Say OK to that. Go ahead and close out this window. And now let's bring back up our Kali machine. On our Kali machine, let's go ahead and bring up a command prompt. Let's go ahead and improve the font size. To do this, I'm just going to go to Zoom. And at the prompt, we can check the IP address of this machine 
to confirm that it is on the same network as our server 2016 machine by typing in ifconfig. Hit enter and you'll see that we have an IP address currently assigned to this machine of 10.0.2.15 using the same subnet mask. So these two machines should be able to see each other without a problem. Let's go ahead and clear my prompt. Now at the prompt, I'm going to go ahead and type in ping, followed by the IP address of our server 2016 target. And you see it starts coming back with positive responses. Now to break out of this sequence on a Linux machine, you have to use control C. So we know we have connectivity between our Kali machine and our server 2016 target. So back over here in my server 2016 machine, if you do not like the name that is currently assigned to your server and you would like to make it something more user friendly, just up inside of server manager where it says computer name, just go on over where you see the name of your computer, you just double click it, go to the change button, and here you can rename the machine. Once you've renamed the machine, just go ahead and say OK. Come back to Server Manager and you're going to get a warning that for the changes to take effect, you must restart the machine. But you can ignore that. You'll restart later. Now we can assign the IP address statically to this machine. To do this, up inside of Server Manager, where it says Ethernet, I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to click on the blue link that identifies this machine as being dynamically configured with DHCP. Just click it. It opens up your network connections. Find your network connection. Right click. Go to Properties. Up inside of Properties, you're going to click on TCP IP version 4. Go ahead and highlight that. If you like, go ahead and click on the Properties button, or you can double click it. Here you see the window where we can statically assign the IP address and subnet mask for this machine. Select the radio button. Use the following IP address. In this first field for the IP address, you're going to type in the IP address that was discovered using IP config. So I'm going to type in 10. I'm going to use my arrow key. Come over to the next octet. 0 arrow key one more time, type in 2, and for the last octet, I'm going to type in 28. Now just use your tab key. Come on down. Now notice that it says it wants to use a Class A subnet mask, but we are using a Class C subnet mask. So it is important that you fill in these next two octets with 255, just like that. You can leave the default gateway as is. You can either assign the DNS as a loopback address using 127.0.0.1, or you can just leave it alone. And when you promote this machine to a domain controller, the DC Promo application will discover that you do not have DNS installed. It will automatically install DNS, and it will assign the machine the loopback address for you. Go ahead and click OK. Go ahead and Close the machine, close out your network connections, and you can do a refresh up here inside of Server Manager. And you should be able to see the IP address that is now assigned to that machine. Let's bring back up our Kali machine. Let's bring up a terminal. Let's go ahead and I will increase the font size one more time. Again, I'm going to ping that IP address that I just statically assigned to my server to ensure that we have network connectivity. And you see that I have positive responses from the ping. I'll go ahead and do a control C, break out of that sequence. These two machines can now see each other on the network and you are ready to proceed on with configuring your server 2016 target to be a domain controller. So in summary, we first ensured that all virtual network adapters were configured correctly. We then discovered the IP address assigned to our server 2016 target. 
We then disabled the firewall. From there, we pinged the 2016 target from our Kali machine. We then used the DHCP address that was assigned to the server 2016 machine to statically configure the network settings on our 2016 target. We then went back to our Kali machine and we pinged the 2016 target one more time to ensure that everything was working correctly. Now everything that we do in any of my courses is a learning opportunity. So make sure you understand the importance of what we did here and why we had to do it. The second takeaway that you need to have for this lesson is that everything we do is done to standard. We're not doing anything haphazard. I don't make up these procedures. These procedures work in the lab just like they work in the real world. So what you're learning here is what you should be taking away so that when you are confronted with this type of an issue in the real world, you'll know how to fix it. And so that's going to conclude this short video presentation on how we go about configuring a static IP address on our server 2016 machine to prepare for promotion to a domain controller to be used as a target up inside of our ethical hacking course. You got questions, you got concerns. Please don't hesitate, reach out, contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.